Hey guys, today I want to show you a, a new plugin which is not the sculpture that you see right now, but uh, which is this one. It's called Meta Plugin and it's by DDMF. And I really love this plugin and it's a little bit out there, but um, I searched for something like this for a long while and maybe you have too, so that's why I uh, thought I'd show you. First, I'm gonna need a sound, so. Choose a different sound than this. I just uh, something like this, maybe. Perfect. Now, what this plugin can do is uh, you can create audio routings um, with other plugins inside this plugin. So, as you can see on the left here, we, we have it on the channel, and I can right click, and here I have a list of some of my plugins. And if I want to use a different plugin, plugin I can choose load and then I'll go to my uh, folder where uh, where is that library audio plugins components so there you can choose all your presets so you have to do this for every new plugin that you add um, which is a bit of a hassle because you don't have this nice list that you can choose from um, but once you have them in there they will stay here so um, if you load them once they will stay inside this inside this window. Um, the other disadvantage, let's get the negative stuff out first, is that you cannot um, load native login, uh, lo logic plugins because it's it works on component files and um, VSTs, and the logic plugins are not nicely tucked into a folder somewhere. They're more incorporated inside uh, inside logic, so you can't access those plugins. Um, but an example of how to use this would be, for example, a reverb. So now I've um, chosen this reverb here, which is Altiverb, my favorite reverb. And I have my input here, so that's the beginning of the plugin and the output. So after the output, it is over here and it goes to the channel and to the headphones and to my ears. Um, so what I can do is I can split this audio signal up. So now I will still have the um, dry signal, which is going there, and with this I can also add the reverb signal. So you might think, why not just use the reverb on the channel and use the dry uh, wet mix control? It will be exactly the same, and you would be right. And the difference would be that now I can do different stuff, like I can open um, equalizer in between here and instead of going straight to the output I can send the, just the reverb through the equal, equalizer and then open the equalizer um, which is actually a channel strip and now I can compress the uh, just the reverb or I can um, make sort of a bandpass filter for just the reverb so I get a lot more flexibility right now And there's a lot more that I uh, that I can do now. Now that that I have this uh, flexible setup, I could, for example, um, choose a what should we choose a filter freak, um, which is by Sound Toys, and use that to control the reverb of the sound, and then mix it back in with the original audio. So we're gonna choose a, let's sync it to the uh, tempo.
So there are a lot of uh, creative uses for this uh, plugin and you can mix it up further and you can uh, control the volumes here through the cables. Um, and it's also very handy for those plugins that um, don't have uh, dry wet mixes. For example, sometimes you want to use a little bit of a guitar amp and I don't want to always use that on a sand. Sometimes I just want to use it on one channel and this is a perfect way to uh, set that up. Um, also, side chaining, it's perfect for this. So uh, check it out and I think you like it. Um, it's not, it's not an advertisement for this plugin, but I was I was really impressed by uh, what it could do. Uh, you can check out the demo and um, see if you like it. So thanks and see you next week.